2009 MacBook Pro Wi-Fi and Bluetooth card replacement is located in the LCD. Start off by shutting down and flipping over the MacBook. Let's remove the seven short Phillips head screws first, starting in a clockwise direction at the top left. Now remove the three long Phillips head screws. You can now lift up the logic board cover and move it out of the way. Disconnect the battery. LCD assembly removal. Begin by disconnecting the LVDS cable at the top right. Now remove the LVDS cable bracket that's being held in with two Phillips head screws. After unscrewing it, gently lift it out of the way. Now disconnect the speaker and the Wi-Fi cable. Remove the speaker that's being held in with two Phillips head screws. Push the speaker out of the way. Remove the Wi-Fi cable bracket that's being held in with two Phillips head screws. Separate the Wi-Fi cable from the speaker. You can now take the MacBook, open it up, and let its LCD hang over the table ledge. Remove the three T6 screws that are holding down the left hinge. Now remove the three T6 screws that are holding down the right hinge. You can now lift up the LCD assembly. Begin by sliding the antenna cover from left to right and then gently prying it up on the left side. Your airport card is located right here. Remove one Phillips head screw from the Wi-Fi cable guard. Now gently lift up and remove the Wi-Fi cable guard. You can now disconnect the Wi-Fi card from the Wi-Fi cable. There are two Phillips head screws that are holding down the Wi-Fi card. Unscrew the right screw, then gently disconnect the antenna cables, and now you can unscrew the left side screw. The airport card is now free and you can gently remove it. Place your new airport card in the following orientation. Go ahead and attach the right side Phillips head screw. Now you can go ahead and attach the left side Phillips head screw. Reattach the main Wi-Fi cable to the back of the card. Gently prying it in with a screwdriver if you have to. Now you can go ahead and click in the antennas. Reattach the Wi-Fi card main cable security clip.
reattach the antenna cover, positioning it about a quarter of an inch to the right of its original position. Tuck in any cables that are sticking out, firmly press down on the clip, and shift it over to the left. LCD assembly reinstallation. Insert the new LCD assembly into the MacBook. Place only two T6 screws the middle of each hinge. This will center the LCD. Now you can install the four remaining T6 screws. Lift up the MacBook and close it. Reattach the Wi-Fi cable bracket with two Phillips head screws. Make sure that the Wi-Fi cable is underneath. Reinsert the Wi-Fi cable into the speaker and position it. Reattach the speaker with two Phillips head screws, one on each side. Reconnect the speaker and the Wi-Fi cable. Reconnect the LVDS cable at the top right. Make sure to close the LVDS latch. Now you can place back the LVDS cable bracket right over the cable and reattach it with two Phillips head screws. Reconnect the battery. You can now place the logic board cover back on. Reattach the three long Phillips head screws in the top right of the MacBook first. Now reattach the seven short Phillips head screws starting at the top left and going ar around clockwise. Perform a NV reset after installing an airport card.